Hey everyone, Kevin here, recording from my messy room with my webcam because I'm being lazy and not recording with my camera. What I'd like to do in this video is talk about OEM versus retail CPUs. Now, OEM normally refers to original equipment manufacturer and what that normally refers to in the tech world anyway is that a company is producing a product for many different companies. We see it all the time with products on Amazon and eBay. One company will produce something like, um, for example, this ball head is made by a company in China. It is marketed and branded by hundreds of different companies and they all market it as if it's their own, but it's not, it's an OEM product. But actually in the CPU world, it's a little bit different. It's a little bit misleading using the term OEM because that doesn't really apply in the CPU world. If I jump over to my browser, you can see here, this is the 8700K. This is the CPU that I bought. And you can see when you buy it, this is the retail version, you will get a nice box. You'll get the box and the CPU will be in there. You'll get a manual and you'll probably get a heat sink. Sometimes you get the CPU cooler to put on top of the CPU as well. Not always, but you know, with certain CPUs. Now, when you buy OEM, well, it's a little bit different. Here's what you get with the 8700K when you buy it OEM. No, it's fancy, is it? Um, inside the same CPU. I've not opened it yet, but inside is the same CPU. But there you go. There's one difference. When you buy OEM, you're not getting a box with instructions. You're not getting a fancy box. You're getting a little box like that. Now, you know, in, in a similar way, if you buy a PC from Dell, from any big PC company, you will have an OEM CPU because you're not getting the retail version, you're not getting the box version. It's only if you go out and you buy the retail version of the CPU alone that you'll get the instructions and sometimes a heatsink. And if we jump over to my browser again, this is where I bought my CPU and you can see here they've got two different versions. They've got the OEM version there and they've got the, the retail version there. Now, the, the retail version here is you know close to 400, 394 and it's about £40 cheaper for the OEM version. You can see here that it comes with two or three games, which I'll be selling. Those are the games there. I'm probably just going to sell the codes. Um, the next difference here will you see here. It's got a one-year warranty. But the retail version, if I scroll down, has got three years. So that kind of sums up the main differences between them. The OEM version is coming in this little basic little box. So if you've got an option of buying, you know, you're building your own PC and you've got an option of buying the OEM version or the retail version, you will find the OEM version is cheaper. Not by a huge amount, but it will be cheaper. Now there, you know, it's £40 cheaper, but I get two games thrown in there as well. I originally bought the retail version and then I cancelled my order because the A700K has been out of stock a lot of places, but it was in stock somewhere for around 355 I bought it the retail version, you know, three year warranty and the box and manual, etc. But then this deal came up with the two free games. And I was speaking to my friend Mark about it. And this is the other thing about this, uh, you know, the warranty. And my, my friend said that CPUs are practically indestructible. And, you know, looking online, looking at what other people have said about it, most people have said the same. You know, in all their years of building PCs, people have said that the motherboard has died, the power supply has died, the RAM has died but a CPU has never died. Now, I'm sure that there is a failure rate. I'm sure there is a failure rate and I'm sure some CPUs do go, but it is, you know, in comparison to other tech items, such as the motherboards and all these other things, the chances of something, um, you know, a CPU not working correctly after a few years is very, very slim. So in my case, I was about to get the retail version, but I thought that for the same price, getting two free games, works out a little bit better because I know it says there it was 394 for the retail version but I basically got the, the retail version around the same price and I can sell those games for about 25, 20 pounds each and get 40 pounds back and really that's all it was. I thought, you know what, I doubt I'll be using the warranty, 40 pounds in my pocket is worth it so that's why I opted for that. So to summarize the OEM versus retail, firstly OEM is cheaper, secondly it comes in a terrible little box with the retail version you've all got a manual you might get a heat sink depending on the version and the other big thing is the warranty intel offer three years 
with the retail version and they're only giving you one if you opt for the cheaper OEM version. If you get any questions about this, please do leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and I'll speak to you all very soon. Take care.